Should the need arise to rescue oneself after suffering a fall from an aerial bucket, greatly reducing the risk of suspension trauma, the 10650 Buck Self-Rescue System provides all the components necessary to accomplish this in a safe, easy manner. The 10650 also allows oneself to safely descend to the ground from an inoperable aerial bucket. Let's review the components that make up the 10650 Buck Self-Rescue System. Two auto-locking carabiners featuring a 3,600-pound rated gate. Aluminum microcenter. Descending device that features a unique anti-panic braking mechanism. 15-foot nylon tag line with bronze snaps. Half-inch braided descent line with an auto-locking steel snap hook featuring a 3,600-pound rated gate. Fully breathable self-opening storage bag with a steel ring to suspend from a bucket hook. 5-foot web ladder assembly. Hardware roll-up bag. Storage bag cover with snap fasteners and Velcro closure. Prior to putting your 10650 Buck self-rescue system into service, it is necessary to properly pack all components into the self-opening storage bag. This will ensure all components can be easily pulled from the bag in the event of a fall from an aerial bucket. At this time, you should familiarize yourself with the proper rigging and operation of the descending device. To rig, simply pass a loop of rope through the opening between the side plates on the bottom of the descender, around the back side of the cam, and back out between the side plates above the cam. Take the loop of rope and place it around the grooved channel of the cam, making sure both parts of the rope are separated by the post on the cam. Pull down on the lower part of the rope, closing the cam. When properly rigged, the end of the rope with the locking snap attached to it should exit the top of the descender. The descending device has a three-position operating handle that features an anti-panic braking mechanism. When weight is applied to the descender and the handle is released, the descender's primary brake will be activated. When the handle is depressed, rope will begin to slide through the descender allowing the user to descend. Continuing to increase pressure on the handle will begin to slow descent. When the user compresses the handle entirely, the anti-panic brake will be activated, completely stopping the user's descent. Proper Packing of the 10650 Buck Self-Rescue System Tie a figure 8 stopper knot in the end of the descent line opposite the locking snap hook. Rig the descender to the descent line 12 feet below the locking snap hook. Connect one of the auto-locking carabiners to the body of the descender. Place the end of the rope into the storage bag and feed it into the bag until you reach the descender. Place the descender and carabiner onto the hardware roll-up bag. Attach the aluminum micro-sender to the descent line just above the descender. Attach the second auto-locking carabiner to the eye of the aluminum micro-center, ensuring it locks on the descent line when pulled toward the descender. Secure steps of the web ladder assembly using the elastic retainers. Attach the eye of the web ladder assembly to the auto-locking carabiner on the aluminum micro-center. Attach one of the bronze snaps on the tag line to the descender cam eye. Fold the web ladder assembly and secure all components in the hardware roll-up bag using the Velcro closure. Place the hardware roll-up bag in the center of the storage bag. Feed the remainder of the descent line to one side of the hardware roll-up bag, leaving approximately 18 inches outside the storage bag. 
Feed the remainder of the nylon tagline on the opposite side of the hardware roll-up bag, leaving approximately 18 inches outside the storage bag. Place the descent line and tag line in the opening of the storage bag cover and secure with snap fasteners. Place the cover on the storage bag and secure with Velcro so the steel ring is exposed through the opening of the cover. Putting the 10650 Buck Self Rescue System into service. After the 10650 Buck Self Rescue System has been properly packed, suspend the storage bag by the steel ring from a bucket hook on the inside of the aerial bucket. Attach the locking snap hook on the descent line to the anchor point on the aerial bucket. Attach the nylon tag line snap to your full body harness. The hip area where the upper and lower sections intersect is an ideal location. Proper use of the 10650 Buck Self Rescue System in the event of a fall from an aerial bucket. Grasp the tag line and pull all components from the self opening storage bag. If your hard hat was lost during the fall, it is recommended that you use caution to ensure components or the bag won't strike and possibly injure you. Continue to pull the remainder of the descent line until the end is hanging below you. Unsnap the storage bag cover and drop to the ground. Remove components from hardware roll-up bag. Disconnect the tag line snap from the descender cam eye. Position the descender on the descent line so it is located slightly above your waist. Attach the carabiner on the descender to the repelling loops or straps on your full body harness, ensuring the handle of the descender is facing away from your body. Remove the steps from the elastic retainers on the web ladder assembly. Step up the ladder and disconnect the locking snap hook or carabiner of the shock absorbing lanyard from the dorsal attachment point of your full body harness. Two or three steps may be required to do this. Carefully step back down the ladder until fully supported by the descender. Firmly grasp the descent line with one hand while slowly compressing the handle of the descender with the other hand and make a slow, controlled descent to the ground. Proper use of the 10650 Buck Self Rescue System from an inoperable aerial bucket. Disconnect the tag line snap from your full body harness. Remove the cover from the storage bag. Remove the descent line and tag line from the cover by unsnapping the steel fasteners. Remove the hardware roll up bag from the storage bag and remove components from it. Disconnect the tag line snap from the descender cam eye. Remove the aluminum micro sender from the descent line. Reposition the descender on the descent line so it sits approximately 2 to 3 inches below the lip of the bucket. This is made easy by pulling the descent line from below the cam on the descender, then pulling slack from the line below the descender. Attach the carabiner on the descender to the repelling loops or straps on your full body harness, ensuring the handle of the descender is facing away from your body. Drop the storage bag to the ground, being sure it does not come in contact with persons or objects below. Disconnect your shock absorbing lanyard from either the aerial bucket anchor point or the dorsal attachment point on the full body harness. Carefully climb out of the bucket. Once supported by the descender, firmly grasp the descent line with one hand while slowly compressing the handle of the descender with the other hand and make a slow controlled descent to the ground. Should you have any questions about the proper use of this or any other Buckingham product or would like to receive a product catalog, please contact our customer service department at 800-937-2825.
or visit our website at www.buckinghammfg.com.